Are you struggling with long distance inside spin shots to gain position? Well, if you are, this video is for you. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today I want to share with you what it is that I do to work on my inside spin shots. And I'll tell you what, it gets me right in stroke. I love these inside spinners from distance. When I started though, they were very, very tough. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I do. This is an exercise I was performing last night. And I kicked this off and I was practicing with purpose as I was working up towards the Nick Varner nine ball uh, drill. And what we've got here is in a, a continuation drill and it's a rotation drill. So we shoot the five, six, seven, and eight, leave the cue ball where it's at once we finish off all four balls and we start over. Uh, it's a three rail inside spinner and uh, it's it's a real good drill. There's a couple things that I like about it a lot. The shots are easy, but we get a feel for how to spin and get to the center of the table with this drill. Um, the other thing about it is because I've been working on my stroke lately, and I and I'm trying to make sure I have a real smooth stroke, getting away from the old jab stroke I used to have. This one requires a nice smooth action. So I have a good pause and you can see that here. And then I begin my forward motion with a push and then accelerate through the cue ball. Great, great exercise for that in itself. Now the other thing, third and foremost, uh, probably one of the best things for a person that's trying to learn how to use spin or English is this one here because our cue ball is not always in the same spot, we have to manipulate the travel path and we have to change our tip position and you'll see right away uh, the results when you do that. And so that's gonna really help you in your, uh, your English game. Now here I come up a little bit short. You can see I was pointing there with my stick where that cue ball should have been. And I actually dropped concentration. I didn't make a real good stroke here. I kind of jabbed it a little bit and I hit rail first and I missed the shot. And I'll tell you guys, that's unusual for me because the shot's pretty easy. I usually handle it and I'll do several, several in a row. So very rarely do I miss on this uh, drill. The, the, the one thing that happens to me the most is like right there, I almost hit the seven ball. So it's just because I, I don't quite predict the spin correctly uh, or where the tip should be uh, when I go through the cue ball. So that's uh, that's my biggest issue. But the shot making itself is not, not difficult at all. So I'm going to shoot this last ball in here and you'll see that I gain position for the next shot. And then we're going to go off to this next drill, which is extremely difficult. Uh, but I love it because it's, uh, it's really a great one for understanding swerve on your cue ball while you apply spin from distance. Okay, here's how we set it up. And we, what you see here is we've got the six, seven, eight, and nine, and I'm kind of ang angling them at the second diamond. You see my cue aiming up that direction. They're all frozen together. And I've got them at this angle so we can pick them off one by one. Six ball first, obviously. We're shooting from the kitchen line, and that's the uh, ob objective here is to get ourselves back up into the kitchen. So. It's uh, one shot after another. It's a great exercise because we've got to hit just enough inside spin to avoid the scratch. We've got to be careful not to hit the point on the side pocket. So it, it really requires a pretty uh, accurate hit. Uh, the other thing I like about it, just like the other exercise you saw, for me, it, it helps me to not jab stroke because if I jab stroke in, during this I will not run these four balls. I have to have a, a somewhat of a transition. I have to have a little bit of a pause 
and I've got to push through the cue ball and accelerate and predict the swerve on the cue ball so that it's delivered at the right angle and I can pocket the shot. Now I came up a little bit short there on the nine ball at the end, see there? I'm gonna point out where the kitchen line is. I'm like six inches away, so that's not really a good uh, or a successful uh, run of those four balls. So I reset. Eventually what I wanna do, you guys, is I wanna be able to shoot this exercise and have it as a continuation. So in other words, where the cue ball ends up after I shoot the nine, um, I start over again with the new string of four balls from that position. And look at this one here. Wow, almost scratched. I'm buried right in the corner pocket. How much you have to have this shot during a money match? And you have to play inside spin, let's say. <laughs> Even I was surprised I made that because that was so difficult. And I played just enough spin to make sure it would not come back to the corner pocket. And that, after that great shot, then watch what happens here. Oh, I made it. <laughs> I tell you guys, when I first uh, came up with this, and look at that, I missed the opening shot. And that's not an easy one because it is a, you know, it's it's further down towards the corner pocket, so it's it's more of a, a thinner cut, and that's not like I say that's not easy with inside spin from distance. But when I first started uh, shooting this exercise, and I think I'm the only person that come up with this, I've never seen it done before. But when I first started, oh my goodness gracious, it was so tough. Uh, missed a lot of shots, but it's kind of crazy once you make one or two. All of a sudden, you get in this this gear and you just start pocketing these shots. And today, when I get, uh, and that one I just slid through the side door, but today when I'm in a game situation and I have a lengthy shot, I can play this light hit. And I, I surprise myself, I make them, but I think I attribute it to this type of uh, practice. You know, these are kind of obscure drills but what it's all about is cue ball control mainly. So it's, um, you know, it's not just about this shot coming up. It's probably not likely that it would ever come up. And there I missed that one badly. Uh, but uh, it's, it's really more about controlling the cue ball. And uh, anytime we can do something like this, it's gonna help us in our game overall. I think this is the last run here, and then we're gonna get to the Nick Varner drill. Um, now that one there, I hit a little bit too much inside spin. Notice that I'm more, are more at the center of the uh, table, up table there. Uh, that makes the shot a lot more tougher because I've got a thin, thin cut there. Uh, although it was a nice position shot because it came up just short of that side pocket and then bounded out, and it's in perfect position here for the final shot, or actually the second to the final shot. Once again, I hit the rail just before the side pocket. I think I actually come up short. Yeah, I did, I pointed it out. Once again, you wanna to try to make sure you make it to the kitchen line. So I'm a little bit short there, so it's really not a, a good run. But then that last shot, that ended up perfect, right up there in the kitchen, so that would have been a great uh, ending. So now we're at the Nick Varner drill. Um, and what I do on this, um, I've, I've shot many different variations. Uh, my East Coast uh, uh, guy that was teaching me uh, some of his game and showing me some things about the game of pool showed me this originally, and he positioned the balls a little bit differently. Uh, this is a little bit easier for me. I'm a B player, and I wanna say this because if you're looking at this drill for the first time, the Nick Varner uh, nine ball drill, uh, you could go online and look it up uh, on YouTube and you're gonna see that there's a, other variations. The, the toughest one is where we travel length of the table to get position from ball to ball. And like I say, you can put the balls anywhere you want uh, per your skill level and it'll um, you can work your way up. As you feel like it's easier or getting easier for you, then you can make it a little bit tougher by repositioning balls. Uh, this one here, like I say, I'm, I've got most of them up table. I've got, uh, you know, they're 
they're not there's not a lot of cue ball travel in other words and when we have lots of cue ball travel with a lot of uh, congestion on the table that makes it a little bit tough now here uh, uh, going from the six to the seven that's not difficult this is a very standard shot so once again this is a and I actually overstroked that I remember this but I got away with it I had enough angle um, and I'm gonna have to play a cut shot on this eight because I just can't get down to it so once again it's it's just a and I practice these all the time but it's it's a drill that really folk makes you focus on getting the job done getting position thanks for watching everyone leave some comments if you'd like if you're not a subscriber to my channel please subscribe and hit the like button that really helps me with the algorithm and like i always say keep on practicing